too. Well, for a number of years, comics have been, the superhero comics in particular, have been written for the already established audience. They've been written for people who've been reading them since they were kids. And they've served that market very well to the detriment of reaching new readers. They're, it's a turnoff to people that's you know, seen as this inside little club of people right. who get the language, and if they don't get the language, they're not going to I'm not a shot. geek, therefore I will not read comics. There books. is the geek connection to it, yes. Yeah. Well, and I suppose, I mean, in television with big shows like Lost, that once, if people haven't started watching it by the third or fourth season, what? Third or fourth season, as opposed to the 75th or 76th <laughs> yeah, season. That's exactly. the thing, comics have been going on for so many years, there's nothing else can be compared to a serialized story that's never ending, yeah. that's not designed to ever end, and I think that's what DC needs to be concerned with. I think they should be writing comics that are a little more geared towards the smart 12-year-old as opposed to the smart 20 to 45 year old who's you know reading comics that you know he's been reading for years right and should we go back here and take a look at sure so um, this is your whole dc shelf here uh so this is the focusing on the comics that came out last wednesday the first one big wednesday of the relaunch action comics was the biggest title of the week um it's got one of the biggest writers grant morrison working on it um obviously one of their biggest characters animal man um, which was another character that Grant Morrison had rebooted years prior. Green Arrow is new number one. Uh, Hawk and Dove, this brings back uh, a huge creator from the 90s, Rob Liefeld, who uh, was one of the image founders. Um, it's one of the lowest selling titles of the week, unfortunately. Static Shock, it's uh, one of the few African-American characters that they have in the lead. Omac, which is an old, um, old Jack Kirby character, um, one of the Stranger choices for the relaunch. A lot of old school comics fans will like it. A lot of new folks will probably be very confused. For new readers, it implies that there were 52 books that it's replacing, that every one of these books is a relaunch of a previously existing book, when that's not the case at all. A lot of these books either hadn't been running for several years or never existed in, you know, you know, previously. They're just new books. So I think they're just sort of throwing a lot of stuff at the wall to see what sticks. You're saying it sounds cynical. Somewhat <laughs> cynical. I hate to sound cynical about comics, but it, it can happen every now and then yeah. when we analyze it like this. Yeah. 